Everybody wants to know, man. Azure, man. Where are the 2K12 My Player videos? <laughs> and I'm about to show you some of the reasons why you haven't seen as much. I was so prevalent with 2K11 My Player. I had a lot of fun with it, but I have not been having fun with this one. And I'm about to show you some of the reasons why. We talk about rebounding. Look at this. Watch this. Number 55. My man. My teammate. <laughs> Look at that. He, that was his rebound. I know what you're trying to, you know, basically show here that the ball was taken, but man, you're just going to shift it over like that and then kick it out, and guess what? Two points for the computer. <laughs> Another thing that we talk about when we harp on is ball tangibility. The ball needs to be tangible at all times. So right here, you see a good example of it. Hit Shumpert, then hits Amari Stoudemire. Okay, you know, we got some ball tangibility going on. But if that's going to happen, then why two seconds later does this happen? Look at Bill Walker. Look at that. His elbow should have knocked the ball out right there. Then Shumpert falls for the pump fake like they always do. <laughs> and if you guess two points for the computer, you are correct. Now here we go. Playing beautiful defense. Have forced Taj Gibson into a very uncomfortable shot. Look at this. Shot clock is running down. 3-2. He's going to take a turnaround contested three. Now, if this ball had a wood, <laughs> if this ball had gone in, you would have seen a rage quit like no other. I would have done like a 10-second video of me just rage quitting after this shot happened. But as it happens, it did not go in. So I just showed you in the first clip, my man Davis, the ball being taken away. Why doesn't this happen right here with Amari Stoudemire? Why is Ronnie Brewer allowed to get this rebound when <laughs> Amar Stoudemire would have clearly knocked it out? And if you guess two points for the computer, you're right. So here it was, man, the saving grace. I'm like, oh, yeah, here we go. I knocked the ball away. Great ball tangibility right there. Rip Hamilton was not paying attention, so I ripped him. So here we are. Look at this. Carmelo Anthony ahead of the pack. I spot him. This should be an easy dunk. Look at how much space he has. Now I'm going to turn it so you can see an even better angle. The ball gets up. And what in the world just happened there? Did you see that? I'm going to slow it down and run it back for you so you can take a look. Like I said, plenty of space for Carmelo. And you can say that the pass wasn't on target and my pass rating isn't that high. But there was no reason for Carmelo to be stopped dead in his tracks and I have a good passing rate and I'm a point guard but look at this the computer just wanted to block my shot now this is late in the game too and this is why I have not been playing this game So here we go, man, another My Player, NBA 2K12 My Player commentary. It's been a minute, man, since you've seen a 2K12 video from me, probably about a couple weeks, but man, I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things, man. And as you can see, the New York Knicks, my New York Knicks, are fighting for position just like the real-life New York Knicks. <laughs> no dominating the conference going on over here. We are fighting for everything we got. So there you see my numbers on the season, man. Um... Like I always say, I've done the, the 50 points per game type of gameplay. But now this is about team ball, being a team player. I'm all right with walking away with 20 assists and 4 points if it means a win. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's see if we get it going started. Get it, get it down early to the big man, man. That's a tip from me to you. If you're a point guard, get your big man going early. See if you can get one of them on fire. And that helps spark the team, man, because you need the big man crashing the boards and doing the little things to help spark the team uh, on down the stretch. So here we go, man. Let's see if we can keep the Bulls from winning. We all saw Carmelo in that miraculous comeback, even though they were up 21. <laughs> but still, he led them back and um, hit those two three-pointers, crucial three-pointers. I was telling uh, NASA on Twitter, man, that <laughs> it was luck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am one hell of a point guard, man. When NBA 2K13 rolls around or 
even if it's NBA Live 13, when the crew mode pops out, man, I'm going to have me a crew, and you're going to see some nasty point guard videos come up for me. Because in 2K12, I mean uh, 2K11 and 2K10, man, I dominated at the point guard position. Because I'm all about distributing, man. I don't care about getting a whole bunch of points. I'm a Rondo-type point guard. Derrick Rose, man, always tough to contain. As you saw, he snuck out and he got a easy bucket on me. Let's work it now. Let's go. Let's go, Stada. Following the score by Derrick so Rose. Hit. Position out to Chandler. Moving the ball. Oh, man, we're playing a two-man game. <laughs> Come on, go to the basket. <laughs> there we go. Look at him. That's what I'm talking about right there. You got to get your Chandler going early. Chandler, if I can get Chandler and Stoudemire going, it's going to be a long game for the Bulls. Because Boozer is just terrible. And Lou Aldane is pretty good. And Rip Hamilton be tearing it up, too, man. I can't even front on Rip Hamilton in this game. Uh-oh, steal. Ah. Uh-uh. Nowhere. Wow, look at that look. And he knows his role. He embraces it. And he's really a guy that you can go to. That's Derrick Rose, though, man. <laughs> the, arguably the best point guard in the league. Best scoring point guard in the league. I say Rondo is the best point guard in the league to me. Because the point guard is about distributing. Look at that. They fall for the pump fake every time. A point guard is a distributor, man. A team leader. And, you know, overall does whatever it takes. Chandler is, hey, Chandler's going to go to work this game. If you're not ready to see uh, Tyson Chandler go to work, you're about to see it in this video right here. Hamilton outside. Four assists already, no points. <laughs> but, hey, we keeping up. That's all that matters. Uh oh, good block. Uh, come on, man. Look at Noah. All of a sudden, Hakeem Olajuwon in the post. Come on, man. We're going back to Chandler. That's what I'm talking about. Picking things up, man, in the second quarter. Down by five, man. Go ahead and put in the comment section. Since it's, ooh, good pass. Hey, man, I'm a beast, dog. <laughs> At the point guard position, boy, I will tear it up. Ask Lucas the Cavalier. Ask QJB. Shout out to QJB, man, for that shout out he gave me. QJ, me and QJB been cool, man, for at least about two years before y'all even know who Neil Bridges was. Before Bridges had swag, man, me and him was running on crew mode. So, it's, you know, it's good to see him come up and doing his thing, man. So, shout out to QJB. Um, as well as Shakedown. Shakedown put out a video. Um, since I put out a video too, give me a shout out, man. So shout out, you know, to the whole underground, but especially those two dudes, man, who I've been down with for a long time, man. But like I was saying, man, playoff time is here. Playoff basketball is almost. Look at this, man. Anytime they put me in as shooting guard, the game just goes haywire. Like the people who play point guard have no idea how to play point guard like watch the decisions that Mike Bibby starts making oh he gave me the ball but I'm just saying like when they put Shumpert in ooh nice spin move Mello oh man now that's vintage Mello right there but in time man they put in a point guard he does not know what to do with the ball man <laughs> and it's ridiculous but yeah man if you have a put it in the comment section who is your NBA team and what playoff matchups that you are looking forward to watching. Um, I know myself personally, I want to see what the Thunder are going to do. That's one of the teams that I've been liking for a couple years. I just like how they put their team together. So, look at that. Man, I, I, thought, I, I thought he was about to hit that. Here we go. Come on. Right here. Melo. <laughs> hey, thank you, Melo. Make yourself useful. Down by two, man. But, uh, yeah, the Oklahoma City Thunder, you know I'm a Grizzlies fan as well since I'm from Tennessee. Um, in the East, I, I like the underdogs. I mean, of course, I'm going to be wanting to see what the Heat do. But the Knicks, um, the Bulls, even though they're not underdogs. But Knicks, Bulls, Heat are teams I'll be watching. 
And look at that, man. As the computer just fires up a three like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. So here I am, man, with my world-class picks and screens that my teammates do not use. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Walker, what are you? Wow. Did you see that pass? I'm going to have to pull out my NASA one face right there. Oh, my goodness. C.J. Watson is all of a sudden LeBron James. Come on, man, here. I'm going to set you a screen. Go, Bibby. What are they doing? Oh, my goodness. NASA. NASA. Thank you. Help me out. <laughs> are you kidding me, man? Look at this. I was just down by two. Now we down by nine. <laughs> this game right here, I tell you, it is crazy. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Melo. Now, here is Bibby. He's covered by Watson. I did not even want to take this shot. Oh, man. Son. 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 Leans. And he drops that one in. <laughs> now we are down by 11 after being down by two. And they will still will not put me in at point guard. Oh, he walked. I don't think there's another option. They are in well, at least we got two points, man. Doing the LeBron two-step right there. Oh, man, was that backcourt? Going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. There's the pick. Every time I see that number seven out there, I, I think that's Ben Gordon. <laughs> Remember when Ben Gordon used to play for the Bulls? He wore that number seven. So here we go, man. Down by nine. Let's see if we can get it down by seven. Look at it. And nobody wants the ball. That's all right. I'll take it. Oh. Hey, I'll get it at the line now. I can I can sink them from the line. Look at that. Perfect release. So it looks like we're going to be down, man. Seven points going into halftime. And now they move me to a point guard. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. This game, boy, I tell you, uh, 2K, y'all better come with it for 2K13, man. That's all I got to say. He's got 16 points and two steals. What an opening half that was for him. Well, it's going to be tough to duplicate, but uh, he's going to try. And it's more NBA action coming your way here on 2K Sports. And welcome, everybody, to the HB Halftime Report. We are getting down to crunch time here in the regular season. The Bulls have been rolling along. They've been all over the offensive glass. Pure hustle from start to finish. For Derrick Rose, things are certainly going his way against the Knicks. He's got 16 points and he's been getting after it on defense as well. No let up on either end of the court. And battling nonstop, the New York Knicks. Just a once-in-a-season shooting performance we're seeing from them. They're wearing out the twine. Some fantastic play from these two. You can see it early on. Hopefully they can keep it going in the third. It's been third quarter action now, man. Down by 11. Oh, man. Come on, man. Get that rebound. Are you kidding me? So the Knicks face the, um, the Heat in the next game. I'm uploading this commentary on Sunday, so... They'll play them today, later on today. Now, look at that. Look at that defense. Good defense by the Bulls, man. I can't even front. They are first in rebounds, first in blocks um, in the league. And I'm just talking I'm talking about the real Bulls now, not, not even on the game. So when they do stuff like that, that doesn't even upset me. It's the, the BS that goes on more so than anything else, man. Come on, here we go. Look at Hamilton. Oh, I thought it for sure he was going to hit. And look at that. We cannot get a rebound. Uh-oh. Oh, I tried to block that. Can we get a rebound? My goodness. <laughs> See, this is the thing that you get from me, man. You get live. Look at this. Psychic DBs. Pause. Madden. <laughs> You get live gameplay, man, uh, and that's one of the things I like to do. I like to give it to you, show you progressive quarters. Like you'll notice from me, you get quarters at a time, man. I don't really slice it up. I want you to see gameplay and how I play, you know, as if I was maybe basically live streaming this. You know, you're just going to see that type of gameplay from me. 
QJB and um, some of the other 2K commentators. They got a little different style, but we each have our own style, man. That's good, man, because you know you don't want the same thing from different people. So you get a little variety from me, a little variety from QJB, Wiser, Shakedown, iPod King Carter. Look at my boy Sim. What up, Sim? Look, uh, uh, wow, Derrick Rose is obviously Jesus Shuttlesworth. Uh, and we still can't get a rebound. Look at that. At least he got a block right there. But, yeah, man, it's, it's been a – I think the NBA should consider going to shorter game. I mean, shorter seasons. I think the 62-game season or whatever – worked out pretty good so they should do that <laughs> they should consider doing that because i always say that the nba doesn't really get interesting i mean of course you got your oh and derrick rose what a beautiful and one right there but you really don't see players step it up and actually play 150 percent even though there's nothing more than 100 percent look at that i have to take over just for us to get close and we down by 14. But uh, the playoffs is when the real, you know, when it really matters. That's one thing I always loved about football. 16 games, every game is important. And uh, going into the fourth quarter, man, I don't know how we're going to come back from this one. Here's Gibson. The shot no good. In the fourth quarter, man, still down by 11. See if we can... Go on a little run in this last two minutes. Basketball, that's a lot of time, man. Two minutes. Here we go. Oh, Amari. Please hit. Please hit. Oh, my goodness, man. That's one of the ones you got to hit that. You left wide open for a three. The team needed that. It could have been down by single digits. Eight points, man. But now, you know, they wasted more time. Ah, oh, that was a clutch shot that needed to be hit. Kyle Corver. Oh, that's probably money. Oh, he missed. Let's go. Throw it up. Throw it up. And I wasn't talking about alley oop. I was talking about to Melo. <laughs> oh, they counted it. Uh, this is a three point play opportunity right here. They counted it as goaltending, so it's 95 to 104. Well, so important to have a weapon from the outside, guys, because it's so. As you can see, my numbers on the night, man 13 and 13. Rondo Esk and Carmelo. What a choke. This is not going to end. Noah, he's checked in oh, for man. Gibson. Dang comes in for Butler. Richard Hamilton's checked in for Kyle Corvin. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for CJ Watson. Trying to stay with Derrick Rose, man. <laughs> he's so quick. Come on, man. Get in his face. Oh, my goodness, man. Amari Stoudemire out there playing defense like Chris Bosh. <laughs> Don't get at me, Heat fan. Yep, it's a simple equation. This one's over. It looks like this game is going to be over, man. Look at that. That's what – that basically sums up my night, man. That's what kind of game is being. And look at that. We can't even get a – a steal, and they they just going ham on this man. Another bucket, and they are just pulling away. 108 to 95. It's going to be a, a pit. Oh, man, I wanted that to go to Amari. It's going to be a tough finish to the season, man. He got key games. Look at that, three seconds. Well, this score is only going to Trying to get this Knicks team into the playoffs, man. If you saw my 2K11 videos, it was a little bit easier. When I was playing with the Knicks and I mean not the <laughs> not the Knicks, the Lakers, because um, we had Bynum and Gasol and Chandler and Stoudemire. I don't know why they just haven't made them the same type of players that they are in real life, man. So disappointing loss, man. But I'm one of the few commentators that will actually bring you a loss, man. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Much more to come, man. I haven't been out in a while, so 20 minutes or so. That should hold you over a little bit. <laughs> More videos coming up. All right. Not peace. a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided? Sure, the there game? is. There's a silver lining in there somewhere, and guess what? It's on Coach to find it. It's all him on this one. In fact, I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to us at practice tomorrow. I know he'll have something to say.
There's all sorts of things we need to work on, but he always has something positive to point out too. I'll let you guys know once I figure out what that is because right now, I have no idea.